Welcome to One Hour Wednesday, where we do something for 10 hours on a Wednesday. Yes, 10 hours. Normally just one hour, but because we are waiting for these wilderness updates to hit the game, I'm going to need more than just one hour to stir up some pretty decent content. What are we going to be doing for these 10 hours? Well, we are going to be going straight into Rev Caves on a level 86 Rune Berserker Pure, and this account is equipped with Venge, a granite mall, and of course, the brand new bow, which I refuse to pronounce. I, I think it's Bofa. Both of these, uh, you guys can finish a sentence there, but we are going to be testing this bow out at the revs, and of course, at any PKer that is willing to attack me. And because my combat bracket is below 90 combat, I should be getting attacked by a decent amount of pures. So this bow versus one defense pures, I cannot wait to see how well it does. Now FYI, this account cannot wield the crystal armor, it only has 42 defense, and without that armor, the bow does not act as strongly. So this will be a test of no armor bow anti-PKing on a level 86 account. Let's head to revs. So I'm outside the Dark Beast Revenant right here. This is where I'll be for now, 10 hours of revs with the new bow. Let's go ahead and start that timer. We will pot up and uh, let's start farming this bad boy. I would say a crossbow at the moment might even be better. Oh, that's a number. Oh, that's a number. Okay. Never mind. We're not like super shredding it, but it's dying. Now this account can wear full void, but I do need that bracelet, so I, I had to put Blight the Eye on, or I would have probably popped the void. So, first kill, bracelet, 9,500 charges left. Let's see, uh, let's see how much money we can make, and uh, let's see if we get attacked. I hope we do. Someone just received the crossbow drop. I am 20 minutes in, and I see that Dom Diego has just got a crossbow. Where is this man, bro? Oh my god. Alright, well, that's okay. Maybe we'll get one too, because the rev items are actually way up in price since they, the update. They're going to be 20% better at the newer revs, so everything's going up. Uh, we're 20 minutes in. I'm literally out of mantas, and I've seen some pures. They haven't attacked me, but just in case, I do want to bank for food. Just show the first inventory of 104k, which is not a ton. But remember, these are getting buffed. Just just a nice comparison here. 50% buff in loot, 30% faster respawn rate, and a boss that is hung more than a horse. That is what we have in store for Rev Caves in this year. Hopefully this year. I'm, I'm banking on this year. And kind of the idea of the One Hour Wednesdays going forward is I want to make One Hour Wednesdays on content that is going to be upgraded speaking of revs so we're going to start here and then once the update does finally hit for rev caves whenever that is i have no idea i will be doing another 10 hours with this bow at the same revs that i am attacking now and comparing is it better do i get attacked more often is it easier to escape pretty much just really doing a nice side-by-side -side comparison and that's the idea for the future of my videos until these updates hit so if you guys like that idea and you want me to compare more updates in the future right they're gonna be doing wilderness slayer cave update maybe even wilderness bosses let me know future one hour wednesday ideas where i can compare and then do another one hour wednesday when the update hits i know we're speaking about a lot of content i'm saying the word wednesday way too much but i'm very excited that is the goal going forward give me some ideas and uh you'll probably get more videos either way let's jump back into the 10 hours oh i'm actually getting attacked boys Wonder what the bow's gonna do on this guy. I'm gonna pretend my prayer flicks are bad here. I am kinda destroyed him. A pop up smite. Okay, I killed him. That was okay, we got him, we got him. That was so bad on my part, I it didn't click. Okay, so. Hearts racing. We got our first anti PK of the day. Our bow is doing great. The G a little flimsy. Give me some time to warm up, boys. He had black chin choppas on him. Okay. We did really good against him. He was not hitting on us because we had high magic defense with our mage and 42 defense and black D highs. And we were just absolutely powerhousing through his uh <laughs> his ghostly robes, man. For 358k. 60 black chins for some reason. 
I will take it. Hopefully many more to come. Let's bank this. So we're about hour 40 in, and this guy just came over, and uh, he's trying to take my rev spot. So I thought I'd look up his stats, and uh, he has 108 range with uh, 34 million experience. One herb, one thieving, one rune crafting. So I think it's a bot. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this man's a bot. And I guess if uh, he doesn't have the right combat requirement, since I don't really spook him, he just kind of sits there and tries to steal my kill the whole time. We're getting a compliment from uh, RS the David, dude. That moist noise man. Thank you, buddy. C. Muy bien, papa. I don't know what he's saying, dude. I just wanted him to talk to me more because I'm so lonely out here. This is my friend now. Mr. David. Oh. Oh, one say we gotta we, we're getting attacked here, boys. This man looked like he can click. So I got full five minute, I was not paying attention. Let's see if we can poke back enough damage to make it so he regrets attacking us still. Or maybe even survive this. I don't think I'm gonna get a kill on this guy. I'll just walk away. <laughs> so, at the moment, I'm not able to kill that man. It would have been nice. He was risking a lot, a lot. We're gonna go ahead and switch worlds here just to make sure we do survive. But I can easily just use the hobgoblin door, <laughs> middle of the cave, while I got the hobgoblins and survive. But when the updates come out, four revs, I will probably not be able to get away as easily. As it will be single plus everywhere, meaning hobgoblins will have no effect. But yeah, because it's not in the game yet, I probably won't even die. We will see, though. I could get ramboed. Alright, as long as he doesn't stack me. I only got 90 HP. Oh my god, I chanced him so hard! I chanced him so Okay, where to go? Where to go? Okay, I just chanced a 115 so hard there. Seven out of eight dentists think I'm thicker than a snicker for this one simple trick of getting away, and that is to always attack your opponent back. And since we're pretty deep in the wild, I'm not gonna get just attacked by pures, but also hunted by mains. And that happened quite a lot in this 10 hours. And the simple trick I'm using is to constantly attack back, even if I have no kill potential, and it's working like a charm. And I only got 42 defense, so it shouldn't be super hard to kill me, but this bow is just lasering my opponents, even if they have defense, making them eat pre-pot and throwing them off their rhythm. So I'm able to escape decently well against much higher levels, thanks to the bow, and of course that one trick to always attack back. Boys, write it down. Oh, what the hell? He's going for it. He's going for it. Game! <laughs> no! 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 I died. Let me see if I can go get my stuff real quick, dude. Oh, no. Oh, did he not loot it? Maybe he's not here yet. Got 100k cash, glory. Ooh. Plugged all my potions real quick here. Excuse me, sir. I'm just taking as much as I can. Don't mind me. Okay. So I don't think we were the winners in that fight, sadly. But we will throw up what we uh, we got in the loot tracker. No, no. But we weren't skulled, so that's fine. So I'm going to go re-gear, pause the timer. I'll probably start it up when we're all geared again and uh, grab that looting bag. <laughs> so we just did five hours at the Dark Beast. Now it's going to be five hours at the Revenant Orc. 22 Wilderness, trying a new spot here. Uh, in the 10 hours in the future, we'll also switch off, depending on how the spawns are. But yeah, I hope this is more active so we can test out the bow on players. I do plan to PK with this bow either way, though. But let's start the timer, and we're going to be farming some orcs. I don't know if the loot's going to be any better, but I'm hoping that it's going to be more popular for PKers to attack me. I'm right out in the open. I'm not trying to hide. Let's see if they find me. Hello there. This guy has 99 defense? Oh my god, I got him. Venge, baby. One venge. Oh, okay. 
I guess it's good to remember to use Venge, boys. Oh, that was the easiest kill ever. Look at that. The bow. Just took him out with the bow. Just the bow. No G Maul. He had 99 defense, too. Weird account. 99 defense, 73 strikes. I didn't, he didn't have anything waiting for me, so that's why I was getting a little cocky that Venge, but nice. Was not expecting to get such an easy kill. 670k. Biggest PK so far. This spot that I moved to, Orcs, is way more active. So hopefully we'll, we'll even top that, but let's head right back out. Very nice. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. With the Dragon Warhammer having a 60 strength requirement now, I completely forgot I could use it on this account, so we end up bringing out the Warhammer and a Rune Defender just to balance out our range and melee combo for more anti-PK potential. And also, people tried to skull trick me during the 10 hours. Yes, it actually happened. I was hoping it would happen too because Rev Caves is the home of skull tricking. Now, I don't think skull tricking is a huge problem in the wilderness, but if there were an area where it was a problem, it would be Rev Caves. Due to the entrance, when you exit the entrance, it takes such a long time that someone could easily switch out the account they were attacking you with with an alt that looks just like them, gear, name, and combat level, and usually people will attack it because they are greedy. So instead, knowing this skull trick and telling you guys just so you can be careful, I ended up taking my time exiting and entering all cave entrances, and if I didn't do that, I would have been risking well over 40 mil if I accidentally skulled, or at least 30 mil. So, took my time, exited the cave, just stood there, the guy tried to skull trick me, ended up giving up, just attacked me, and then I whomped his ass, taking him out the game. So be careful boys, because if there is an area where skull tricking happens, it is revs. Skull trickers back. I've fallen. I mean, if you're just gonna let me. I don't know. 230k, man. He just kind of gave me that kill, dude. Appreciate it. What is happening? What is this? Why, why, does, why does stuff like this keep attacking me, bro? Alright, let's go, buddy. You want some? I'll give you some. <laughs> oh, the bow is so disappointing. Or the... It is so disappointing. Wait. What? I didn't do anything. I'm telling you, I'm running the... What is this? He tried to skull trick me. In 10 hours of revs, I was lucky enough to see both skull tricks at rev caves, because there's two types, right? The first one, you go to the entrance, you attack an alt that you think is the guy attacking you, you skull up, you die. This one is you get a kill on a noob, you go to loot the pile of loot, someone logs in under while you're looting, you click on them skull, and then probably die. And by the looks of it, yeah, I definitely did die here. I uh, made a bit of a mistake, could have ran south, but I kind of panicked. Yes, I still panic. I'm on a new account, and I tried to go to Hobgoblins. Did not make it too far, but you guys now know what to look for, all right? Be careful. When you're going to loot a kill in Rev Caves, make sure you turn your right click on for attacking players. Just be safe, because uh, I swear, only thing out at Rev Caves now is Skull Trickers, man, and I want you guys to be careful. Jeez. All right, well, that's going to be the first real death of the day. They tried to bait me again. Uh, that man's clicks were on, like, some sort of, like, he had speed or something. I don't know what he was doing, but jeez. All right, so I'm re-geared, and I just thought maybe this belongs in the, the video. Just, just found that guy. Power amulet, full granite, pretty much unstoppable. Uh, and then this guy doesn't have a chance. So, is that what you're really, you're really, you're talking about the amulet of power? Everything he's wearing, and that's what you bring up? Is so that normal to you? All right. Well, let's just continue farming. He's back. Dude. Oh, not that man. Not that man. Not that man. Oh, he's TBing me. This man just chucked a TB at me. It's on, buddy. It's on, Granite Man. Chunk him. Chunk him while he's running. Chunk him while he's running, boys. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I can go past that shortcut, bro. I can't, okay. This is weird. I don't know what's happening. Oh, he ate up the foot. He teleported. That was my battle of granite, man. I'm gonna have to go reset now. I don't know what's going on out here, man. Okay, I'm getting hit by this guy.
stupid. Oh, there we go. Finally, the Warhammer went in. Nice. Oh, it's a pure. Let's see how he does. Nope. Did I just smite him for the... No way. Oh my god, I just smited a guy for Stab of the Dead. Oh, well, on, on that G-Maul, that G-Maul could have been such a kill. That Staff of the Dead smite would have been so good, but it's okay, because something even crazier happened later on in this video. But we did end up dying again. I know, I know, I usually don't die, but uh, I got a little cocky trying to get content, fought this guy for literally all of my food, and at the very end he TB'd me, stood under, and I just had to give him the loot, sadly. But we did make it back, because we got logged in by a pure, who we absolutely demolished for a decent amount of loot. And the peers kept logging in. Sadly, we didn't kill them all, but this bow versus a pure is insane. It's literally my favorite thing. I'm falling in love with this bow against one defense pures. But then, someone with full void my combat level and 31 prayer logged in, britting me with the new bow, and this is what happened. What is this? This might be my other death here. What is that, bro? Oh, he's got the bow too! This man's got the bow, he's got it red! What the hell? Oh, he doesn't have prayer. He doesn't have prayer. Oh my god, I think I just smited him for bow. He has 31 prayer. I almost just smited him for bow. Oh my god. Oh my god, I almost got him for bow. There's no way he wasn't smited. 31 prayer I looked up. He has no prayer. He was using the bow. Oh my god, I'm getting so many chances right now. Let's go reset though. I gotta switch worlds. Oh. This guy just attacked me. Nah, let's not waste it. I just gave away my attack though. <laughs> what the f- Well, hello? I wasn't expecting that. All right, another kill. Yo, we just whomped him through his prayer. You see that? We just stacked him through his prayer, I think. Oh my god, I wasn't even G-mauling him. Logging out 469k, giggity. Very nice. <laughs> this guy just beat my ass, bro. I mean, what else do I do? <laughs> no way! No way, I won! I won, boys! Oh my god! I have 15 HP! We gotta go! Yes! Oh, the rank range is strong, but I am stronger, my friend! Walking out with 300k, no food, and 15 HP. The hell? Oh! Oh my god, this guy almost just deboed me to death! Bruh. Oh, what the hell? You just died. Why? Yo, okay, we got 10 minutes left. This area is popping. I don't know if it's popping with good loot. It's very, it's very popping though, man. 300k loot? Oh my god, I just got hit by this guy. This is uh, probably gonna be the final battle here. Let's see how we do. We'll just do some bad prayer flicks here. So it looks like I'm a noob. I swear to God, that was a chance. <gasps> holy, holy moly, holy moly, moly, moly! No way. So we got two minutes to go, and I almost just chanced this. <sighs> My heart is racing. What a way to end the ten hour. Um, I don't know. Should I just keep chilling? Maybe it'll give me another opportunity. I don't. I thought so. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get another chance on this guy, so let's start making our way north if we can. Let's see if we can escape here. Literally 30 seconds away. Just head on over to Hobgoblins. The next 10 out. Uh oh. He's still trying. He's still trying to. Oh, it's a different guy. Who's this guy? 
This is such a bad idea. Okay. All right. Let's just let's just say he rambos me with that. Let's let's just say he does a rambo there. Huh? All right. We're on escape mode. We're in escape mode. I was not expecting such a rambo. We gotta go. Oh, there's another guy. We gotta go around this way. Oh god, I should just gone. We're going around. No, 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 all right, it is 10 hours. Let's pause the timer. What a great way to end that off. Would have been better if we had 30 mil loot or that bow that we possibly smite or that Staff of the Dead, but I can't complain. That was a very awesome and amazing 10 hours. Last loot there, 100k. Uh, looks like we got all in total about two deaths, about seven or eight kills. Seems like the orc spot was a lot more active than Dark Beast, so if you are going to anti-PK, and kind of do what I did, I would recommend orcs. Just be careful of skull trickers and baits. Seems like they're very, very common in that location. Possibly the most common place to get skull tricks. So be careful, and let's go see how much we made. Before we get into how much we made from revs, I do have to say the bow was pretty fun to use, and I'll probably be getting it on my main pretty soon to anti-PK with. I think it's like one of the best anti-PK weapons. Now, I do have to say that the crossbow is going to be a lot better when it comes to farming revs, but if you corrupt this bow, you can do it infinitely and possibly make back your money. Your money, though, not mine. You can make that choice. Hopefully, this video was not only informational, but entertaining. So drop a subscription, drop a like. Help me out, boys. I appreciate you so damn much. So we ended up making 2.27 mil from the Rev Dark Beast. And the funny thing is we actually made 2.27 mil from the Orc. The biggest difference is the activity in the spots. I only got two kills at the Dark Beast, where I got about seven at the Orc, making about over five mil at the Orc. So a lot more money just adding on the anti-PKs to it, but overall in total, eight mil in loot. Hopefully we can be eight mil in 10 hours in the next 10 hour Wednesday when the rev update does hit because I will be remaking this video after the changes and I'm very excited for that with the same bow, same account, and hopefully the same rev spots depending on how those are. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. That's a good name. Is, is... I was literally just going to say the Dinsball word. <laughs>